For weeks, we've all been looking to find what's going to be the first DEX that successfully launches in the Cardano ecosystem. Is it going to be Sunday Swap? Is it going to be ADAX? Which one's going to win out? And then it turns out that like hiding in plain sight, there it is, Muesli Swap just doing its thing already live. Let's take a look at it in the weekly report. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today it's time for the weekly report. Let's jump in. So I gotta admit, I feel like a lot of people, including us, have been so focused on the upcoming Sunday Swap launch that's gonna be coming up in the next month or so that we've kind of lost sight of the fact that it's like, hey guys, there's already a DEX that's live on the Cardano ecosystem and it's called Muesli Swap. So uh, credit to the Muesli Swap team, credit where credit is due. It is, and indisputably is, the first DEX to launch on Cardano. And we're gonna take a look at that today. So before we get to the walkthrough, a couple of caveats that I think are important to keep in mind. While Muesli Swap is the first DEX to launch in the Cardano ecosystem, a few things that we'll want to keep in mind is that as of when we filmed this, to my knowledge, it has not yet been audited by a third party. And that's part of what was holding up the Sunday Swap launch is they're having a third party audit of all of their code. And to our knowledge, that has not yet happened on the Muesli Swap code. The other piece is that for the team, it's just these little like looking avatars here. And then if we come here to the Muesli Swap main page, we can see here who is behind Muesli Swap. And they say that at the moment, we are preserving our privacy to avoid personal attacks. However, we'll consider revealing our identity in the future. So, you know, there is something to be said about that. Like it's a fair point. But for those that are using the protocol, a lot of times you feel a lot more comfortable knowing who the team is. So the code has not yet been audited by a third party. The team behind it is still anonymous, but for better or worse, if we look at Blockchain Insights, the number one by transaction count number of scripts that has been run on the Cardano blockchain is the script for Muesli Swap. And as of this filming, it's nearly 50,000 transactions have already been run live on the mainnet. And to their credit, since they recognize that being an anonymous team is sometimes frowned upon, to add a layer of transparency, they have opened up their code and it is public on GitHub and we'll link that down below as well. So given those two previous caveats, a bit of sort of buyer beware and know that going into it. But hey, like as of right now, if you're looking to do a couple of simple trades and get your hands on some tokens in the meantime, probably not a terrible way to get started. So let's take a look. If we come to MuesliSwap.com, here's their main page we can see that before they launched on the Cardano blockchain, they'd actually also already launched on BCH, which is probably part of why they were able to move to Cardano and go live so quickly, because they had previously already launched on another UTXO-based protocol. So if we wanna check out the exchange, let's go to the Cardano DEX here. We'll click on it and open up Muesli Swap. If we take a look around, we can see that it's still very much being built out. For example, if we come to NFT, we see that this is still not yet here. Uh, the launch pad is still under development. Um, but let's look at what we came here for. Let's go to swap. And we can see that there are already today several tokens that we can trade. Milk is the Muesli swap token, similar to Sunday tokens on Sunday swap. And so you can trade for those if you'd like. If for some reason you don't want to get them for free and you want to pay for them, you can get Hosky tokens as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and try and get ourselves some world mobile tokens. I've personally actually, for a while now, been wanting to get my hands on some world mobile tokens. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. First thing we're gonna want to do is connect our NAMI wallet. So we're gonna use the wallet that we set up in a previous video. So I'm gonna click on connect NAMI wallet. We'll get our little pop-up here. We'll say access. So here we go. So we can see our NAMI wallet. We sent a little bit of ADA over to it earlier so we can do some swapping. Uh, so we're connected and we're all set. Once we've connected our wallet, as a best practice, like we mentioned in the Sunday swap tutorial, um, what you wanna do is click on your little avatar here and you wanna add collateral. The collateral is used to interact with smart contracts on Cardano. The recommended amount is five ADA, but keep in mind, this amount is separated from the account balance and you can return it to your balance at any time. So um, we saw this in the Sunday swap thing where a lot of times part of the issue is that the collateral wasn't there. So after you link your wallet, add the collateral as well and just make sure you take care of that whole category of possible errors. So let's go ahead and add our collateral. After you've entered your spending password, hit confirm. All right, so our collateral has been added, so we're all set there. now. Let's go ahead and try and get ourselves some world mobile tokens. We have some information about the token itself. We can link over to their website. Um, charting is coming soon. This is something that like, it would be really nice if it was here right now um, because world mobile token actually, like I think even just like a couple of days ago was trading at roughly about like one to one with ADA and now it's dropped to about a third of that price. And I think that's actually a great point for us to keep in mind. We've all been talking for a long time about how exciting it is to have multiple tokens that we can swap on the Cardano ecosystem. 
But something to remember is that all these different projects, as they're launching, they're gonna go through some initial price discovery. So we might see the price sort of go up and then go down. So depending on your own risk tolerance, you might think, well, let me get in early in case it appreciates a lot and I have early tokens. Or you might think like, hey, well, you know, sometimes these things are overvalued at the start and then they kind of crash down and I wanna let the dust settle. You're gonna have to decide for yourself what's right for you and your own plan. But assuming you've done all of that and you wanna get your hands on some World Mobile tokens or any other tokens, let's look at the process of how we would do that. And the first thing that we'll probably notice here that's a little bit different than other DEXs that you've seen is that instead of just being like a direct swap for whatever the market rate is, there's actually an order book here where you set what is the price that you want to buy and sell and how much. So that's a little bit different than what people might be used to. Now we see here, these are actually people trying to sell. And so then you can buy their sell orders. And these are people looking to buy World Mobile tokens. And so if you had them, you can sell to these people. So it's a little bit confusing. And the other piece, this is really important and actually makes this even more confusing and, and not really great to work with. But only orders with equal amounts will be matched. We can see here, for example, that this person is trying to sell 5,000 World Mobile tokens and they're only asking 0.38 ADA. Whereas on the other side, this person, they're willing to pay 0.4 ADA, so more than this person is asking for, but they only want to buy 100 of them. And so since it's not an equal amount, they're not matched. They go into more detail on this in their FAQ and we'll link that down below. But this seems like a thing that needs to be resolved for this to be much more user-friendly. So granted, we know that we're probably gonna be, have to overpay by a bit, but for the sake of this demonstration, let's find something that we can actually afford here. So it looks like here, they're selling 100 World Mobile tokens for 0.46 and it costs 46 ADA. So we'll click on buy. We say, okay, I'm gonna take 100 tokens for this price. Here's the total, 46 ADA. There's a deposit here of 1.5 ADA to facilitate the transaction, but that will come back to us. There's a matchmaker fee of the matchmaker that's actually pairing the two, the buy and the sell, and they'll take 0.6. So our 100 World Mobile tokens will cost us a total of 48.1 ADA. So let's go ahead and submit that. Here's a confirmation, let's sign it, enter your spending password, hit confirm. Okay, so it's been successfully placed. And so actually this went through right away. If we go to my trades, this is another thing that's kind of confusing is if we look here, it only shows orders that have not been matched yet. It would be really nice if it showed your history. But if we come to our NAMI wallet, since we got a matching order that we knew we were overpaying for, it was matched pretty much right away. So we see our ADA was deducted here, and now we just have 100 World Mobile tokens. So cool, it worked. <laughs> I've never had World Mobile tokens before, and I've always wanted some, so now I have 100 World Mobile tokens. A couple of things that I will say. This buy and sell is a little bit confusing at first. The fact that it's only matched orders, that really needs to be resolved. My trades would be nice if you can see your history. Kind of clunky overall. This really feels like the kind of team that's like engineering first and kind of like overlooked some of the UX stuff, which as an engineer myself, I can appreciate how sometimes that happens. But I think that it is running. You can get you know your, your tokens for the swaps that you do. But I think that what they need at this point is a good pass of UI UX to make sure this is easier to use. But hey, in the meantime, while you're waiting for some of these other DEXs to launch, if you wanna get your hands on some tokens immediately, you can come to Muesli Swap and you can do it today. And you know, you can see here, I've got my tokens and I'm pretty happy about it. Took a little bit of getting used to, but we got there. Let us know how your experience has been on Muesli Swap so far. How did you find it? Was it confusing? Did you find it easy? Maybe I'm just not smart enough to wrap my head around it yet. But uh, yeah, let us know how it went for you. Join us on Telegram if you wanna chat in real time. And if nothing else, we'll see you next week.